Good afternoon, everybody. It is 4.50, May the 8th. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray that everybody receives a message from this. I'm going to try to keep my videos a little shorter so they might load up quicker. It doesn't seem to be working to get here lately. There's times where it loads up really fast. Then there's times where uh, it just doesn't seem to want to be working. Yeah, we're up here in the hills where I guess things aren't working quite like they used to. Also, uh, with uh, all the chemicals they're spraying. Okay. Now, you guys, we're living in a time where um, extreme wickedness, evil, has been accepted and embraced by uh, a lot of people. Okay, we're going to be seeing where wickedness is going to be increasing. I've already, I'm already seeing it. Where uh, uh, people aren't as friendly, um, being uh, just being more not not as nice. They're going to want to be like very aggravated and mean with you, you know? Um, <clears throat> that's why I'm at the point now where I prefer just to upload these videos um, because uh, you can't even you can't even uh, talk with a lot of these people. The enemy's broad, you guys. And they're in the churches. They're everywhere. It's all over this place. The, uh, the remnant that's going to be chosen, it's, gonna, it's not going to be a lot. It won't be a lot, I guarantee it, because uh, it's going to be like as in the days of Noah were. Okay, there's going to be a lot that are going to be left behind, and they're going to have to uh, come the very hard way, because they choose to uh, believe the lies. They choose to uh, want to uh, believe the lies. And uh, Satan has many blinded right now, you guys. You guys, when you're testing spirits, you'll know people clearly by their fruit. Here in uh, Matthews, you shall know them by their fruit. Now stop and think about it, why Jesus came here. To destroy the works of the devil, not to promote future sins. That Look at Jesus' walk here. Did he say anything about future sins? What did he say about sins? Those who do our sin are of the devil. Okay? That's why he came here to destroy the works of the devil. And for a long time, put this past, present, and future sin uh, doctrine. That's what it is. It's a doctrine by saying... Uh, past, present, and future sins. You guys, we got all kinds of different uh, things going on in the churches. Why do you think there's so many different uh, faiths out there? People that call themselves Christians, Baptists, Jehovah, and uh, Seventh-day Evangelist. And Christ said, a house divided cannot stand. And our body is technically the house of God. And when he comes back in Revelation, he begins with the church. Okay? Why does he begin with the church? Because, you know, it's... Look at how weird evil it is today. It's getting a lot darker. So now I'm at this point here. I'm up here in a place where I can... Uh, I can relax. And uh, I don't have to... Um, I don't have to uh, engage like I used to with people out there because I think we're at a level now where things are going to start getting really ugly and it's going to be spiritually driven. There is spirits in people, you guys, because they refuse to uh, resist it, I guess. You know, that's where it says resist the devil and he will flee from you. There's a lot of people that refuse to resist it, and they they let it abide in them. Uh, 
I believe we're going to be seeing a lot of miracle uh, things happening where the Lord's going to make his power revealed and hopefully it'll turn people back to him. But uh, we're at a point where things are going to start getting really nasty and ugly here, you guys. Don't embrace anything or anyone that says future sins, okay? Ask yourself when Jesus' disciples, did any of them ever preach about anything about future sins? No, nothing about it. When they throw their favorite little verses at you, saying all your sins, does all your sins say future sins? No, it means your past and your present sins. Is That's all it means. Don't add to it. Then go in to see where scripture says, what is sin? All right, all you got to do is type in and say, what is sin? Sin is of the devil. And it also says, you are who you yield your members to. And, he, and when he says you can't serve two masters, what are what is that? Two masters would be, you're either going to, Satan is the prince of this world. If you're yielding your members towards sin, then you're obeying Satan. What would Christ have you do? Would you do this in front of Christ? You know, these are the things that you have to ask yourself. If he was watching you right now, would you be doing that? All right, stop and think about that. Because I'm going to tell you right now, he is watching. And he's abiding in us. Okay? That's why it says, you know, if you abide in him, you will not sin. And, uh, if the seed took root, the seed remains in you. But if you're active, actively uh, sinning, then uh, it's like it says, you, you never knew him, he never knew you. That's why he's gonna tell many people, depart from me, because I never knew you. You guys, when we make ourselves ready in the blood of the lamb, that's the precious blood of the lamb, okay? You have to ask yourself a lot of questions, man. I wouldn't accept it. I wouldn't embrace any of that. You know? Are you not uh, willing to even try? Have you, you know, have you tried to ever quit smoking cigarettes? Have you ever tried to quit looking at pornography? Have you ever tried to stop? You know, there's a lot of things, you guys, that is sin. You know, looking at women, lusting after them, or, or looking at men, lusting after them. You know, see, that's sin if you lust after them. But if you look at somebody and say, well, that's a nice looking person, you know, but you don't lust after them, you stop it. That's not sin. Sin is when you conceive it in your mind and you dwell on it in a very filthy way. Satan will try to give you a thought that doesn't mean it's sin. That's where you grab hold of that thought and uh, you take it captive. And that's where it says, think on things that are holy, pure, lovely. Keep your mind on Christ. You know, are they telling you to do those things? Or are they just saying, your future sins are covered, you can do nothing to lose it? You better be very careful, you guys. The enemy's very real. And uh, many people will be deceived and follow it. Because out of, out of their own heart, this is why they're doing it. Because it's, it's in them. It's truly in them. Okay, so you're gonna know people by their fruit, yeah, by what they do. And uh, anybody that embraces or tells everybody to continue in sin, that's not of Christ. I already know that. And uh, anybody that would do that is not. I don't care how lovely or pleasant they sound, that's of the devil. Satan will come as an angel of light, and so will his, uh, his apostles. They'll come like an angel of light. Okay. So, with that being said, God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray that you are able to receive a message from this. And uh, you do not embrace sin in your life. And don't tell anybody and everybody that you know. Do not embrace sin. Sin is of the devil. We've all fallen short. We've all sinned. We've repented. Okay? Christ, the Holy Spirit has come upon us, opened our eyes to see what's out there, what's happening. It's been revealed. That's His light has come upon us. Now, the seed took root. 
we no longer abide in it and we uh, we obey Christ rather than sin uh, which is the devil God bless you I love y'all I pray for all our brothers and sisters of all nations tongue and kindred and I pray for all the children out there that their eyes and their ears will be protected against what the devil is still trying to do to the children God bless you guys much love patience be patient in this time you guys and uh, abide in Christ okay and uh, come out of it you might have to separate yourself from a lot of it so you can feel and grow in Christ you might have to separate yourself from it because it's going to get more wicked and evil you know we've spent quite a bit of time doing what we've done and the Lord knows it and uh you know, let's just share and edify and comfort with one another, okay? God bless you guys. I love you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.